I want Crocs. I went to my mom's house once and I tried on her Crocs as a joke because I was like, oh, look at me, I'm wearing Crocs and Crocs are disgusting. <laughs> Little did I know that my feet would fall in love. All my youth, I thought Crocs were lame and embarrassing and gross, but I don't care, I want one now. You want one now, as in one single Croc, not even a freaking pair? You're an idiot. But first, I'm gonna take a shower because I smell like I wear Crocs which is perfect. So I'm gonna jump into the shower, get ready, and we're gonna go get some Crocs, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know where my shower cap is, so I use this Safeway grocery bag. Reduce, reuse, and recycle, y'all. Since I will be going outside for the first time in a while, I'm gonna look not dead, so yeah. What I'm about to show you next is very disturbing. I still don't understand what I was saying or what I was doing. Did y'all just see that? I don't know what was going on. I don't know if I was possessed, summoning a horcrux. This isn't the Slytherin house, okay? Cruz, cruz, que se vaya el diablo, que venga Jesús. So as you can see, my hair is, uh, it's struggling, y'all. The first thing you need is a leave-in conditioner spray. This is the Not Your Mother's. So just split your hair down the middle, just like Moses split the Red Sea, and then I just dredge my hair. I pull it really tight, because I want it to look like a very well-defined poo, you know what I mean? Hey, look at that. That's a nice poo right there. Then you put on your hat, and there you go. Also, I don't use hair ties because I don't need them. My hair just stays. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'ma go get my cracks. Or should I say, brocks? It's a joke, I'm not a gangster, please don't shank me. Help, I came to my parents' house and my mom is force feeding me a bunch of tacos. <laughs> Now, I could have bought Crocs online, but I wanted to get real and raw and go to the Crocs store itself. There it was, the beautiful green sign that marked the future of my hopes and dreams. Or it was the beginning of the declination of my self-worth. Who knows, it can go either way, folks. Not gonna lie, I was pretty impressed with the vast array of shoes. They had normal Crocs, of course, but they also had fuzzy Crocs, moccasin Crocs, platform Crocs, beautiful masterpiece Crocs, sneaker Crocs. Oh, damn. Okay, Crocs, I see you. These baby ones are so cute. <laughs> But the excitement quickly faded when I saw the price. What the frick? I didn't know freaking Crocs were bougie. What the frick? Let's see if this is it. I feel like Cinderella. Are these like glass slippers? Oh damn, these are way too huge. Never mind. Okay, so I was gonna get tie-dye because I thought it was like really cool or whatever. Then I realized I might wear these in public. I don't want to stand out that much. So uh, I'm gonna look for something more slim and more basic. Whoa, invisible Crocs. After a long search, I found the perfect ones. Must walk the crop. Ew, my pants are disgusting. <laughs> As if Crocs weren't beautiful already, you can make them more beautiful with a wonderful array of charms. I had a design in mind, so I went in to grab the letters that I needed, but there was no letter A. But it's alright, I just decided to order it online. 
The price at the checkout was $45. $45 for freaking Crocs. But alas, it is a small price to pay for my dreams. I want to take this moment to publicly apologize to Crocs. I'm sorry that everyone hates you and judges you. Yes, you are a little ugly, but you are very comfortable. It's not the outside that counts, it's the inside. So I put the letters inside the croc. I don't think the lady saw, so she didn't charge me for the letters because they were inside the croc. So uh, I technically stole them, so I'm going back to pay for the letters. <laughs> okay, I went back to the store and I reversed my accidental stealing. So now we can go home. $7.98 for a single letter?